morning is Wednesday, September 25th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Unlocking True Generosity. In our scriptures, Luke chapter 20. Then, with the crowds listening, he turned to his disciples and said, Beware of those teachers of religious law, for they like to parade around in flowing robes and love to receive respectful greetings as they walk in the marketplaces. And how they love the seats of honor in the synagogues and the head table at banquets. Yet they shamelessly cheat widows out of their property and then pretend to be pious by making long prayers in public. Because of this, they will be severely punished. While Jesus was in the temple, he watched the rich people dropping their gifts in the collection box. Then a poor widow came by and dropped in two small coins. I tell you the truth, Jesus said, this poor widow has given more than all the rest of them, for they have given a tiny part of their surplus, but she, poor as she is, has given everything she has. Every time we get near Jesus in teaching mode, he utters something that turns our thinking and our world upside down. When he pointed at the widow's gift and said she gave more than everybody that day, even though she'd only given the smallest amount, he was showing us the key to opening true generosity in our lives. It's never how much you put in the offering plate or the size of the check you put in the envelope to a charity. It's how much you keep that determines the size of your gift. It's amazing how children get this while adults seem to struggle with it. Our youngest child is having a birthday today, one with a zero attached. Prayer, please. (laughs) Happy birthday, sweetheart. When Carrie was little, perhaps only about four, she overheard her mother and me talking about the income and outgo problem in our house. There was a little too much month left over at the end of the money. So she went to her room and then came back to join us at the table. And we looked at that sweet, innocent face as she held up her pudgy little hand and opened it up to reveal four pennies. And it's impossible for me to forget those words. Here, Daddy, you can use my money. Like the widow who kept nothing back, our little one had emptied her savings to help. The condemnation of the preachers at the beginning of the story is for pride and the misuse of money. Well, it seems there's nothing new after all, is there? These proud, greedy leaders would have scoffed at the widow's donation, or perhaps worse, used it to guilt others into giving more to fatten the treasury. But one thing they were never going to do is follow the widow's example. For you today... The Gaither Vocal Band has a song that keeps running through my head. Give it away. Think of the widow that day. If you want more happy than your heart can hold, if you want to stand taller, if the truth were told, take whatever you have and give it away. If you want less lonely and a lot more fun and deep satisfaction when the day is done, throw your heart wide open and give it away. Gloria Gaither tells about writing that song. Let's give her the last word today. Bill's grandfather used to say there are basically two kinds of people in this world, givers and takers. So decide which one you want to be. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.